Hello Italianis and fans and guitar freaks, I'm Chris and today I'm going to show you the bass guitar unisono section from our new single Arcturus Prime. This section follows the bass solo of Linus and is harmonized by Justin and me and um, what we're doing, we are outlining as our pet shows a very simple chord progression in the key of E minor. The progression goes like this, E minor, to D major, to C major, to B major, the B major being uh, the dominant chord that would resolve back to E minor. This is a very common chord progression that you find in many songs like for example Hit the Road Check or Mediterranean Sundance by Aldi Miola and a million other songs. The interesting part about this section is how we play technically as it combines sweep picking and tapping and it combines groups of four sixteenth notes with groups of six sixteenth notes not uh, triplets. And the uh, 16th note version and the groups of four, we play with sweep picking and these are typical three string triads. Um, what I'm doing is I'm playing an E minor triad here in this position. So I'm starting on the fifth, uh, which is the note B, I'm descending down to the G string. What I'm doing, I'm starting on a down stroke on the note B pulling off to G, hitting the note E with an upstroke and then hitting the note B on the G string with a downstroke. And from here I sweep pick the ascending shape. So it's... As you can see my finger rings are a little bit different than the ones that you would probably play because as most of you may know I can't use my middle finger that well. So where I use um, the combination of my ring finger and my index finger, you could just as well play it like this, hitting a note B with your middle finger. Um, yeah, so technically in this entire section, we only have an ascending sweep because on a descending pattern, it's not really sweep picking. And from here, we go into the 16th note triplet version and what we're doing is we're playing an E minor triad on the G string, uh, starting by tapping the root note E, pulling off the G, hammering on to B, tapping back to the high E, pulling off to B, pulling off to E. Now this pattern is after that mirrored one octave higher on the high E string. So the whole fingering uh, is moved up three frets and played on the high E string so we get the same shape but one octave higher. So the whole thing sounds like this. Now we're following the same concept throughout the next three chords. So we're doing the same thing on the D major triad. Um, the picking pattern that I use uh, on the right hand is going to be exactly the same. So starting with a downstroke on the note A, which is the fifth of the D major chord, pulling off to F sharp, which is the major third, hitting the note D on the 15th fret on the B string with an upstroke, once again going with a downstroke to the note A on the G string, and from there ascending the arpeggio uh, as a three string sweep. And then once again we're doing the same thing with the D major triad, same inversions as before, which start on the root note, go down to the third, hammer onto the five, tap the root, pull off to the five, pull off to the third, and then mirror that same shape one octave higher. As you noticed when you saw the video, Justin is harmonizing that part. And um, whereas in the previous video we explained I played the lower inversion and he harmonized it and played the higher inversions, in this section it's the opposite. For every arpeggio that I'm playing, he's playing the next lower inversion. So for example, when I'm playing E minor here, he's playing the next lower inversion here. And the same thing 
goes for the tapping triads. So while I'm playing this inversion, he's playing the next lower inversion. And this goes through all the chords. Now the third chord is the C major chord and the shape is exactly the same that we're using on the D major chord, only two frets lower. And the last chord, B major, uses once again the same shape as before, only one fret lower, which is a half step lower. Um, the cool thing about this section is that not only Justin and I are playing it on the guitars, but Linus is playing the same shape that I'm playing, or the same pattern that I'm playing, but an octave lower on the bass. He may use some different techniques to execute the notes, but uh, generally he's playing along the entire thing, uh, which I think is very cool. Uh, one thing that you have to pay attention to about this part is this combination between 16th notes and 16th note triplets, so you get the timing correct. Um, so that, no, that you don't speed up on the 16th notes or slow down on the 16th note triplets. Um, I would suggest practicing uh, the arpeggio part, uh, the sweeping part, which is 16th notes, separately from the tapping part, which is 16th note triplets, both with a metronome. When you feel comfortable doing both separately, then I would suggest trying to put them together. And with parts like this, I would also suggest, once you memorize the entire thing, play it on a slow speed, pay most attention to the accuracy, and the timing and only gradually increase the speed when you feel comfortable with the speed you're currently playing.